Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. So over here in the UK, shooting season is in full swing, obviously because of COVID. A few things had to be changed up, but everybody is still managing to get a few days on the peg. So that time of year, game season, game bird. So today we are going to be doing the lovely, lovely partridge. Just a simple video to anybody that's new to the sport, how to prepare these lovely little birdies. So we'll get the camera down on the block and go for it. So over here in the UK then we shoot two types of partridge. We have our own grey partridge, also known as the English partridge. And of course these pretty looking French red leg partridge. Now the partridge are a member of the pheasant family and like all game birds they all get prepared the same but some pluck easier than others and this is a fine example of an easy plucking bird. So where do we start? Several ways we can do this. We could take the wings and legs off beforehand, which takes away the bulk of the bird. And I suppose if you're doing this for the first time, maybe the easiest method, very simple. We're not gonna need those wing tips. So what I've done there is if you can see in the natural where it flexes, two joints, that one moving in there, I suppose the elbow, and that one there. So you just aim for the second one, straight off. It's that easy. And then I'm just gonna leave the head long, so we take that off. Two, just keep your work surface relatively clean. And then the legs, I'm just gonna take a bit long, Simple with a bone and knife. I use this five inch semi flex, absolutely great bit of kit, but already it's looking a lot more easier to pluck now we've got rid of those bits. So, what we need to do is just gently with our fingertips begin to remove the feathers off the breast, just nice and gentle. Doesn't take very long. What we wanna do is try and get this off nice and cleanly. We don't need any tears, but you will get a natural tear if it's landed a bit rough or the dog was a bit hard mouthed. So just gently working our way around. See, we got a tear there. So what I do is just hold where the tear is and just work the feathers out. One at a time. And that kind of saves the skin. But the thing is, is not to get too cut up on it. Don't look for the perfect job. At the end of the day, as long as you're preparing the game you've shot or you've beaten up or you've picked up, you're doing the right thing. So yeah, just working our way now, cleaning off one side. I shall remove these feathers and you can see where we are. And as you can see, just little handfuls. You can see there, look, and I shall show you just gently pulling them out. Now, pheasant, to me, is one of the hardest plucking birds. Pigeon is one of the easiest. And I think partridge is up there with pigeon. So very simple, no pressure. If you can see, just pull. They just come out nice and easy. And if you can see, I'm kind of like a tattooist, stretching the skin a bit, just so you can get them feathers out cleanly. 
but as you get more experience and you go along you can just start firing them out so by clearing away the feathers we've taken off you can kind of see it's starting to turn into an oven ready bird this is that time when preparing meat when it begins to turn from obviously the creature it was into food so we've got another tear there that's quite an old one working our way over the wing tips the drumette but at the end of the day a lot of people don't even bother leaving these on there's very little meat on it so you know you can always cut these off and use them in stock or give them to your dog so pretty much tidied one side so flip him over and we start to do the other see then we got it to this stage it's just a case of just going over and just fettling up pulling off any other little bits before we take the viscera out so just go over your hands if you get a wet cloth that's another good way because some of these will just be stuck on feathers from where we've been plucking so yeah nice and gentle so we have the tears on that side there get those off the wings and if you've left a few on a few of these little downy ones do not panic if you're roasting them they will just burn off but alternatively you could just get a little blowtorch and just go over it and that will send them off but don't get too cut up on trying to get them all out if you don't want to it's not going to affect it. Right. I'm going to get a cloth. Give that a wipe off. And we'll go from there. But yeah. He's starting to look a little bit more like. An oven ready partridge. Okay then. So the butcher's friend. The wet cloth. Trust me. We use them so much for many things. In the butchery trade or as my old mentor Sid Nutt the old hard butcher I learned the trade we would call him pass us your wiper <laughs> bless anyway as you can see without getting it soaking wet just a, a damp cloth just gently over it brings off all the feathers that you couldn't quite pick up There's one there, and it gives you a nice clean job. So we're just going over now, just finishing off. Before we take the insides out, they'll fit around there. Perfect. The thing is, when you're plucking, you get your hands wet, you will have more feathers on you than on the bird. It's just a nightmare. So try and dry pluck your bird beforehand and then, like me, just get your cloth, not soaking wet, and just give it a wipe. We can always give it a wash off after. So yeah. Now let's make it oven ready. What we need to do then is take out the insides. My blade a little feather. So, just where the breastbone ends, just put in a little nick with a sharp knife, just enough to get your finger in. And then just move it around. So if you go up the top of the rib cage, 
down each side, just like that, and then reach to the end of the rib cage, and you can feel all the insides, and then just hook it out in one. Now, cloth at hand, keep your hands clean, move that to one side. Now, several ways we can do this. We can cut straight through there and just take it out, which is what I'm gonna do. So just down that little bone and there, that completes the cut, that takes out. The nasty bit, so just get my rag, give that a clean. And we need to look inside because the heart will be in the back. So two fingers in, try and keep them close together. And there is the heart. Let's see if there's anything left. Lovely tiny little heart, nice and healthy. Keep our workstation clean. And then we'll turn our attention to the neck ends. So here's the neck. I left it long on purpose. What we'll do, nice clean knife, is just put the tip of our knife under the skin of the neck. Just like that. And just work your way along to the shoulders. And then that allows you to, again with your rag, just pull the neck away and then we can get our hands in and empty the crop. You see what old Perdix has been eating? So a little bit of acorn, wheat and some greens. Nice diet, not for me, but each to their own. So we make sure we've got rid of everything out of each end. Pull off the skin of the crop. Now what we'll do, before we give it a final swill, is we'll take our neck, and I'm gonna cut it, but leave a little bit, so when we truss it, we've got something to anchor it to. Apart from the trussing, that's pretty much ready to go. So what I'll do, swill this under the tap, dry it inside, and then I'll show you how to truss it. And it's ready for the oven. What a cute looking thing that is. Okay, just to finish the job then, make it look nice and neat and all posh, like it's come straight out the butchers. We are going to just truss it, so underneath those drums pull and what we're going to do is you see it's between the drumstick and the thigh under the wings and you see we left that neck a bit long this is a reason why we're just going to tie that knot off okay nice and tight so it's all pulled together. Give it a couple of knots to stick. Cut off the excess. Give these a little bit of a fettle. And pretty much there is wonderful little Perdix. Wonderful little French, French partridge. All dressed up, ready for the ball. Now if you're on a shoot, or you're a gamekeeper and you prepare game like this for your guns, for your beaters, you could get yourself a nice little tray, like that. Get them all oven ready. Wrap it over, which I'll do now. Okay then my friends, one beautiful oven ready partridge. How good does that look? 
Okay. Now if you do that, prepare them just like that, you can get these trays online, if not just put them in bags and you could keep those in your freezer when the, sh when the season, when the sh 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 when the season is over, you'll have a nice supply of game in the bottom of your freezer. And the beauty with keeping those legs on and cutting them, you can always tell what they are. So yes, this is the way forward. You've got to admit, it looks quite professional, doesn't it? You could even go as far as getting some labels printed so you know what you've got. So yes, one beautiful oven ready partridge. All we got left is the innards. Where's my knife gone? There. So, you don't want to pen if you like your offal. It's always good to save it if you wanted to make a terrine or something. So, just take off the liver, nice and simple. You can see that's nice and healthy. And then the gizzard. Now I know a lot of countries like the gizzard. So what we're gonna do is with our knife, very gently cut it in half. Keeping our cloth in use. And then you can see, again, while it's been eaten, obviously this is where its food gets turned into fuel. So I'm just gonna give that a swill in some water, real simple. Now all that's left to do with this gizzard, and it's quite a tricky one, is just peel off that membrane. You have your gizzard your liver and your heart and then the star of the show one oven ready partridge so my fine feathered friends if you found this helpful or you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP the Scott Reed project please click subscribe when my face comes up down here also find me on my social media on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram at the Scott Reed project and if you would like to help the channel along, help me bring more information to your brains for nothing, but you'd like to help, please check out my Patreon page. But until next time, when I'll show you how to cook this beauty, really easy, so you've got a beautiful roast partridge. Have a good time, safe shooting, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Take care, my friends.